we have here a BMW R1200 ST ABS model. It's an 05 and an 05. Um, that's 36,268 miles on the clock. It's a very nice bike, this. It's the colours mineral silver. It's like a champagne type colour. And then there's a grey in it as well. On through the middle. Silver wheels on it. I mean, just look how nice and clean it is. No damage on it. There's a stone chip on the front um, there. And there's a light scratch there on the front wheel guard. But I don't think there's anything else to report on it. A couple of tiny little stone chips on the front of the engine there. But nothing bad. I mean, 16 years old now, but it's very nice for a 16 year old bike. The wheels are all clean as well, or a little chip on them. But they're original and that's the way they came from the factory. So they've not been redone or anything. The exhaust system is all nice and shiny as well, so it's been well cared for. And all the chromes came off it. It's got the engine protectors on the bottom of the rock covers, which is a handy thing to have. It's got the two BM panniers and it's got an Oxford top box as well. The panniers are in good nick. Obviously they're not painted, these are just black plastic, so they have got some rub marks on which they all tend to get. There's more on the other side where someone's been getting on off and the boot's been dragging over it. But you put some back the black one, it goes away. It's got Pilot Road 4s on, which aren't very old at all, they've got really good tread. The front the same, they both look the same age. Uh, they've got adjustable screen on these, means even no scratches on the screen or anything. It's been no one's been brittle padding the flies of it, that's for sure. The fuel gauge doesn't work like none of these do. I will stick a brand new fuel strip in it before it goes out as part of the PDI, so bear that in mind if you're looking to buy another one where the fuel gauge doesn't work, it'll cost you a couple hundred quid to sort it. This one will be done. So, yeah, it's a lovely bike. It's got heated grips on, it's an ABS one. It's one with a servo assisted ABS. So there, nice clean bike. I've sold this once before at least. It's got really good history as well as like a PDF printout sheet and all the invoicing and stuff, everything that's had done. A good bike, these just an RT, but it's just got slightly smaller fairing on it. I mean, it's a bit lighter and a little bit less cumbersome, but it's still got the same performance underneath, same engine, same drivetrain in wheel suspension and everything and to be honest people say that you get better wind protection than the RT I don't think there's a lot of difference in them so they're a good bike and a little bit better value than what the RT is as well